to our next episode of Relax Cast. Um, this week we have Miss Cripps and she does sound meditation. I don't know what that is. That is Jeff. Yeah, that's why she's here. So we can figure it out. So yeah. So what do you do before sound meditation to relax? Um, I did uh, lots of lacrosse. I exercised. Oh. I, I run and I still do those things as well. But I found that for me sound meditation is really um, so much more effective uh, in many different ways. And uh, it, it was really something that kind of was able to quiet my mind and bring me some inner peace. So um, this is really where my, my, uh, my, my focus is right now. I like it. Yeah, awesome. we, we just yeah. heard some of it, and I was just like oh my in gosh. awe. I didn't even, was, oh. I don't know what this was, is, but I, I love it. And <laughs> there's like no words to describe it. It's like so, oh, it's so great. It's awesome to be in trance in it. Um, um, thank you. No problem. Um, so, for everybody who, like, doesn't know what is, like, sound meditation and um, what are sound bowls and bells and things like that. Yeah, so so today I've brought um, uh, six bowls with me. You'll see that there are five on the table, and there's also one that's upside down. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, I use these bowls. They're um, quartz bowls, but you can also get them in uh, things like gemstones. Okay. So, you can actually get one that's amethyst, or you can get one that's rose quartz. <gasps> yeah, they come in beautiful colors. I'm doing the quartz one. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing it. Beautiful uh, styles. Uh, mine are traditional quartz, uh, and one is not better than the other. Right. Um, so these are my bowls, um, uh, and uh, let's see, um, what is it? It is a, a method of relaxation where you take a wand, which is a stick item, mm -hmm. and you uh, rub or move it around uh, the bowl. It's almost similar to the idea of when you wet your finger and you put it around a glass of water. Oh, yeah, like the thing you go oh, to dinner okay. and your mom says stop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> stop. That one. <laughs> So it's, it works on the same principle. Okay, cool. Um, and, and the vibrations from the bowls uh, are really what you're hearing. Uh, mm -hmm. These are quartz bowls. They're 99.6% pure crystal quartz. Wow. Yep, they are melted down at about 3,000 degrees uh, from quartz crystal and then poured into molds and then um, shaped afterwards in order to produce uh, the right tonal quality. 
Um, these bowls, once you play them, there's two different styles of the way that you can play. You can, uh, you know, move the wand or the stick around the outside, or you could also um, tap it on the outside as well. Mm -hmm. The third way that you could also do it, and I didn't bring one here, is I have a rubber mallet, and you can rub it around along the uh, inner ring of the mm -hmm. bowl as well, oh. and it produces another Whoa. quality of sound. The sound and nice so and smooth. Deep, like mm, I don't even. Yeah. It just like filled the whole room and like <laughs> filled like my ears and that's just like I'm like the sound right now is so weird. But, like, I know it was so weird. So, it was so like, I've been having like I've been like catching a cold and so is Jackie. Mm -hmm, yeah. And oh. when we were sitting there, like I just like forgot I even had a cold. I was just like, <laughs> hmm. like it's interesting that you say that actually because. Um, the idea behind these bowls is that they connect with different parts uh, of your body, different energy centers of your mm -hmm. body. And so uh, the idea in, um, in Eastern culture is that, uh, in some Eastern cultures, mm -hmm. is that uh, there's uh, energy points along your body and that they either resonate with sound or color or both. And so... Uh, my bowls are set up so that they are a traditional scale uh, of, of music. And um, they also have a, a coordinating color to them as well. Uh, each note and color are included in the bowl. And so uh, when I play one of the bowls, it resonates with a different type of energy center in my body, um, according to Eastern philosophy. That's really awesome. That is so <laughs> cool. Oh, my gosh. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, so how did you hear about sound meditation? Great question. Uh, so I have a friend, uh, and one night we said, oh, this is going on in our community. Let's, let's go and see what it's all about. I had no idea what it was, uh, but I decided, let's give it a try. I, I, I had one session, and I was hooked. Um, the, the owner of the place actually um, has a daughter uh, who's my daughter's age. We became fast friends, and uh, she's really the one that brought me into this community oh, of, of working nice. with crystal bowls. Yeah, yeah, that's so that. sweet. Yeah. I always get so interested in like how people find these things, like mm -hmm. especially like things that aren't so common, but end up having a really big community to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. so cool. And it is. You're right. There is a community. It's it's not a a widespread and vocal community. Right. I mean, you know, it's a smaller community than most things, but uh, but there definitely is a vibrant community of people who who participate in these types yeah. of things. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Um. So. The next question is, like, why did you personally seek out sound meditation, but, like, follow up, like, why did you stay with it? Like, mm. did it have certain reson resonating points to you, or, like, did you have certain reasons to stay with it instead of, like, leave it? Sure. Something like that. I think part of it is that I came into this uh, at a, an interesting time in my life. Mm -hmm. It was when I was making the jump from a guidance counselor to a guidance director. Ah. And so I was... Uh, feeling the stress of the job change, mm -hmm. and, and a wonderful part of the stress. You know, I love right, being yeah. here. Of course. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it was stressful nonetheless. Yes. And um, for me, when I uh, partake in listening to the bowls, so mm -hmm. when somebody else is doing it, um, when I listen, I can't think of anything else because the sound is so encompassing. It tends mm -hmm. to bounce off of walls, Definitely. and you oh, yes. resonate, and it feels in your body as well. Um, and so really, it was a time for me to just relax and, and be peaceful. Mm. Um, and I loved that. It really helped to ground me. Um, my friend has a smaller bowls that produce a higher pitch. And uh, I find that for when I'm listening to a bowls, that works well to me. Mm. Uh, when I am using bowls and when I'm doing them for other people, I enjoy a deeper sound. It's more grounding for me. Right. And so um, I tend to use the bigger bowls. <laughs> you know. I can see why. Those were, I think, yeah. my favorite when you were playing them. Like, I loved the like the smaller sound, but once you got to the bigger bowls, it just like almost felt like it was filling the room even more. And I didn't even yeah. think that was possible. And it just, like, <laughs> right? Yeah. The only yeah. word I can describe is like like it was like a dense kind of like oh. Like for, like like the small bowls, like you can obviously feel like the vibrations in you, mm -hmm. but like when the big bowls happened, it was like everywhere inside me. I was like, oh my god, everything's like vibrating. I was like, mm. oh, it was great. I'm really excited because I'm getting a um, very large 22-inch bowl. Mm -hmm. These oh. ones, uh, the largest that you see here is a 12-inch bowl, so it's oh, almost going to wow. be double that size. Oh, I can all... <laughs> yeah. That is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm so excited. We'll have a deep tonal quality to it, and, uh, and I've played oh one before. God. It's wonderful. There's actually a way that you can fill it with some water, and you put your feet into it, 
And you put a little essential oil in it, okay. a little oh, lavender. I love essential oil. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have you hooked already. <laughs> and, and, um, and you can take the wand and move it around the outside edge. So, for instance, if I was working with somebody, mm-hmm. I could have them place their feet into the bowl. And then I would move the stick or the wand around, and it would vibrate the bowl while the person's feet are in it. But what that does is it creates a vibration from your toes all the way up through your body. You can actually feel it inside your head when somebody's doing this near your feet. It's lovely and wonderful. Um, of course, <laughs> send me a pizza. <laughs> of course, you know we 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 cleanse the bowl afterwards. Yeah. We make sure it's nice and clean. Of course, yeah. No, 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 no stinky feet in there. But, uh, <laughs> but um, it's it's wonderful. And I also have a, a bowl that's about uh, fifty percent fifty percent larger than these bowls here as well at home. But it was so large that I couldn't bring it. Right. Yeah. yeah. But, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, thank is you. there a specific pattern that you like to play? You know, I I really enjoy uh, a certain tone. I enjoy D's and I enjoy E's. Mm. Um, And so I'm not sure whether that's necessarily because I like the sound uh, and the feeling that it creates within me. Um, It could be that I like the point in my body that it works. Uh, That's generally in the the midsection of your body that it's Mm -hmm. working on. Um, But either way, that's really what resonates with me. And I love a D and an E together. Mm. So for my bowls here today... um, it is the smaller bowl, and also the one that's on the side there. It's got a stick mm-hmm. yeah. on the top of it. Um, those are D's and E's. I tend to like them in a little bit bigger size, but right. those are those are my favorite sounds. You'll uh-huh. see that there's a sti- the one with the stick there. It's mm-hmm. a, called a handheld practitioner bowl, and okay. this bowl. I can play it while I'm holding it with the stick, and then I can also move it around people so that I can direct the uh, the vibrations in specific areas of the body. So oh if I was gosh. to, you know, move the stick around and it was to vibrate the bowl, I can actually transmit that sound to an area of your body. You're hearing it all around, mm-hmm. but really the, the the waves are going to a certain area of your body. So I could work on your shoulder, or I could work on your head, or your leg. Oh my um, gosh. Yeah. Yeah, and I can also take that, that, that end stick part mm-hmm. and uh, apply it to your body and you know, move the stick around the bowl, and it will vibrate down in through the stick, oh, wow. and it will oh pinpoint gosh. where uh, that vibration is going, which is really kind of neat. For instance, my son had a, a, mm-hmm. a, an ankle that was hurting him, and we did, uh, you know, got him medical attention, everything right. else, but this is also something that we did in addition to his medical treatment. Right. And um, yeah, yeah, it was very relaxing for him. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, so when do you, like, find time to do this? Like, how many times do you do it? And yeah. what, like, how does that happen? Sure. I don't know if words. Sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> so about two years ago, I, I made a priority to, to really look at how I was living life mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Uh, find time to participate in relaxation and meditation and whatever kind of, you know, made my soul happy. And um, so that's right. right around the time I found this. Mm-hmm. Um, and so right now... I partake in at least once a week, um, okay. whether I'm doing it for myself or for others, or that I'm receiving uh, and I'm just you know lying down with a blanket over me, maybe on a yoga mat, mm. uh, and just enjoying the sounds. Uh, you know, at some points I'm I'm using these bowls two to three times a week. Um, I find it's easier to slide this into my life because my husband and my two children, who are eight and ten, mm-hmm. they participate as well. Oh, yeah. so oh I love that. <laughs> it's, it's like a family, family bonding. Thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to be able to pass along these tools to my children mm-hmm. um, because, you know, I feel like maybe they fall in love with these bowls. Maybe they don't. But it will be one tool in their toolkit to be able to use as a relaxation technique for when they face challenging situations in life. And so my children will actually play for my husband and I. It's very neat. I mean, we play for them. They play for us. That's adorable. Yeah. And I have to tell you, they do a really great job. Oh, that's so cool. What a bonding experience. (laughs) Right? That's so nice. Thanks. Oh, my gosh. So where can people um, access sound meditation? Like, are there classes Mm. or... Do you need to be trained to play them? Sure, that's a really great question. Um, people can access them in uh, typically in yoga studios. There's a place in Methuen that will do it. Uh, there are private practitioners that will do it as well. I'll tell you that for me personally, I, I do this for people. Um, I choose not to charge. I, I really feel like I'm happy to give this to other people as a gift. Mm. Um, but I do know that there are practitioners that will do that, and that's how I got into it. I worked with a practitioner. Um, 
Uh, there's a couple other places in uh, Methuen. There's one in um, Framingham that will do it. Uh, so there's that. Do you have to be trained? No. Uh, you can actually buy these tools either online. You can buy them through Amazon. You oh, can buy them through Amazon. Crystal Tones. Amazon. Amazon. Who doesn't love Amazon? Yeah. Oh, Amazon. You can you prime it, and in two days, you can have one of those at your house. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was figuring. Um, so, so, you know, they're, um, I will say that they are, they are not cheap. But for me, they were worth the investment. Mm. Um, I've really uh, enjoyed letting people use my bowls so that they can see if they're the right tool for them. Um, right. You know, uh, I do feel like it's applicable to a lot of different people out there. But if Definitely. it's not the right tool, I'd hate for somebody to, uh, to, to purchase a bowl and feel like, this doesn't work for me, you know? Right, yeah. So it's neat if you're able to, to have somebody help you out with that. Yeah, um, I did receive training. I went to a two-day training with my friend Laura Mayhew. Uh, her last name is M A Y H E W, and she has a website which you know people can go on and they can actually listen to an example of the bowls. Oh, okay. um, yeah. Uh, and so if you Google her name, Laura Mayhew, it comes up. Um, and I also took a, a three-day training, four-day four training. <laughs> it was a four-day training last year, um, and it was with Jay Schwed, S C H W E D, Jay Schwed, okay. and. Um, and it was really a lovely, relaxing time. We did this for hours and hours and hours. Oh, that's just, oh, just that sounds like amazing. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Um, but truly, you don't need to be trained in order to participate. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so you talked about how you have, like, different tools for, like, the different ways you can do it. Something happened. I don't know. Um, so, like, are there different techniques to use? Yeah. Like, yeah, there are. Okay. So, um... You know, you saw me playing the bowls, which is a typical technique. Mm -hmm. I also described how I could take that practitioner bowl and use it in different parts of uh, your body or different ways. Right. Um, there's also ways where I can take bowls and I can put it onto your body. Um, and, and, for instance, I could put a larger bowl onto your stomach and play the bowl there, and the vibrations go through your body. We talked about uh, your feet into the bowl. Mm -hmm. um, I've done it where your hands are placed into the bowl. Um, there's one where there's a, a, a like a, a massage table mm -hmm. where somebody's laying on it, you know, covered so that they're nice and warm, fully clothed, of course. Right. Yeah. You know, and um, and there's bowls around the the table on the floor so that as you're playing, and sometimes you're playing with multiple people, there's lots of different sound wow. going on. Um, oh, that's beautiful. There's ones where uh, you can make sort of like a nest. Think like a lot of comforters and pillows on the ground so you're super comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then you place bowls around that and play with friends wow. also helping you play. Um, in addition to these bowls, I also use sound chimes. Mm -hmm. And I use a, a, a crystal pyramid. It's made out of quartz as well. It's clear. Okay. And um, uh, it has a nice tonal quality to it where um, it kind of, uh, you know, really brings the stress level down very mm -hmm. quickly. So those are all the tools that I use. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. And every now and again, I also do drumming. I'm into drumming, sound drumming. I run Ooh. drum circles. Um, yeah, all these things that people don't know. So I run drum circles wow. as well. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, my so God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I love how it's like all like kind of music related to. Like it has like different yeah. things. Oh, that's so cool. You're definitely into like rhythm and sound. Like, mm, that's definitely. Yeah. That I can, you know, get from you. Yes. Um, so when you do this, do you prefer to do it alone or with other people? Or does it not really matter to you? Sure. Uh, in the end, it doesn't matter to me. But, but I have to say, I really do enjoy, uh, whether I'm receiving or providing, I really enjoy having other people into the room. Mm. I like the energy quality that other people bring into the room as well. Um, for me, I enjoy uh, an energy quality that is a little bit more chill than most. And right. so, um, you know, for somebody to come into the room and participate and they're all angry and they continue to stay angry mm -hmm. can be challenging. Yeah, that's really that's hard to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, but in general, I enjoy it to be, you know, a, a calm situation. Great. Yeah. I'm going to put a pause real quick so I can check the camera. Because yeah. <laughs> um, that's yelling at us now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. It's pretty insistent. It's like, hey, pay attention to me. Like, hey, we're um, <laughs> doing something. I don't know. No, don't auto power off. <laughs> <laughs> well, the memory card is full. Uh, well, that's okay. Okay. Fave audio. We're done with you, I guess. <laughs> Excellent. So, again, yeah. Relax Cast listeners, because let's go listeners. <laughs> we just had a camera fail. 
But. So we are sorry for all the beeping that's been happening because <laughs> that, that's why uh, earlier we were kind of like a little like what's going on. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, camera anyway. failure, great. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, um, so how do you think sound meditation could like benefit high school students? Sure. Overall, I think that you know being being in high school and and going through your teenage years is really a challenging. Uh, it's a challenging life spot. Mm-hmm. And I think that the more tools that people have in their toolbox, so to speak, you know, to, to pull from, the better. Mm-hmm. And so I've used it with uh, teenagers, uh, not at my high school, but separately in my, in my personal life, uh, when they want to focus on, you know, uh, remaining calm for uh, tests, when they want to focus on things like performance for sports. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that these are tools that they can draw from. So that's really nice, yeah. Um, do you have any tips for beginners? Yeah, jump in. Just give it a try. <laughs> I have to tell you that I am the least musical person you'll ever meet, which sounds really funny, right? Because I'm telling you about these. Yeah, I'm like, you like E's and D's. And, D's. and I'm like, ooh, ooh no, here we go. <laughs> right? I, I love sound and I love these vibrations and I drum and things. But I have to tell you that musically speaking, I'm not gifted in that way. But this is an opportunity for me to create and to enjoy music in a different way than I've ever been able to do. And, um, you know, don't fear. It's really hard to mess this up. You can't mess it up. It's just, just jump in. Awesome. That's yeah. so cool. Oh, my gosh. Um, and then how can people learn more about this? Like, are there certain, like, websites or pages or something on different things that, like, they can go find? or? Sure, that's a great question. So um, the first thing that you can always do is uh, go into YouTube. Go on to YouTube. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Yeah, if YouTube, if listening to a YouTube clip is as beneficial. Yes, yeah. it is. And, you know, in fact, when I'm doing things that I, I can't get out my bowls or I can't access somebody who's playing bowls, mm-hmm. I YouTube things. Mm-hmm. I have a, a YouTube. I also have a CD um, or two of my friends who have played and burned it for me. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, Art. so it's pretty neat that, that we're able to do that. Um, but it's absolutely just as efficient and just as, as beneficial. Mm. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's uh, you know, a good place to start. The other part is that you can look online. There's lots of different information about um, sound meditation, specifically speaking with crystal bowls. These mm-hmm. ones are crystal bowls. There's also Himalayan metal bowls that you might have seen. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. No, go, that's no, just continue. Our, go ahead. That's just our camera. Oh. Again. Um, so I'm going to say the fun questions. Yeah. <laughs> do it. Um, so if you could um, have any famous person sit and do sound meditation with you, who would it be? Oh, gosh. That, that's a really good question. Um, if there was a famous person to sit with me and do meditation, I, I would like to sit with uh, Martin Luther King. Oh, you know, I, I think that it's, uh, you know, his message was amazing mm. and I think still rings true today. Uh, you know, and, mm-hmm. and meditation, I think, is a way, one way, one way of many to bring peace to uh, a group of, of people. And um, how neat would it be to be able to, you know, bring people together in the spirit of peace and meditating and finding a sense of calm amidst all of the, the spin of the world. I love that. I love that um, so much. What about any teacher slash staff member sure. from BMHS? Or- <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so I, I'm going to name two. Okay. Um, uh, my first one is I love Linda Donovan. Uh, <laughs> oh, <God>. Yes, <laughs> Linda Donovan in, in Mr. Motari's oh, office. Yep. <laughs> um, because I think she would love it. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. But I know she thinks I'm really quirky for liking Donovan. this. And that's Donovan. okay. Donovan. Yeah. <laughs> I know she loves me, and I feel the same about her. Um, but yeah. but who who do I think would be a very willing victim for this? Um, you know what? I I think Mr. Hagen would be all in on Hagen this. Hagen would be in on this. I, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I remember he walked into our <laughs> Shakespeare classroom and listened to us recite Shakespeare mm-hmm. and loved it. So yeah. <laughs> he was like, "This is awesome that like you're getting used to, like used to like Shakespeare and like reading out loud and speaking with each other." It was it was like so he cool. just seems so like willing and open to everything. Mm. Yeah, we Mr. have some Hagen. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
forward to this podcast. <laughs> we have some good conversations about things like uh, meditating mm-hmm. and, you know, using techniques to ground and visualize. And, and so yes. I think you'd be really into this. Yeah. Sure yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for doing this interview with us. Thank um, you for having me. Oh my god, this is amazing. Yeah, I'm me. like, I'm still like in shock and awe <laughs> from like just hearing it however many minutes ago. Right, and like right. now I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> you, know, you know, part of this, point of this podcast really is um, to bring people together in the sense that, you know, how can we as a community find ways to relax that work for us? And, mm-hmm. you know, not everybody has um, the same outlets but having options is so important, and I feel mm, like definitely. in at least our generation, we are like, our only outlet is our phones, or mm. our only outlet is hanging out with our friends, and that's not necessarily true, um, and I feel like if we would just sit back for a minute and just think of the things that are important to us and mm-hmm. what you know we need as a person, I think we'd have a, some, like, so much of an easier time, you know, uh, relaxing and you know finding out kind of like who we are along the way so mm, really this podcast is um to help you know aid in that so. wonderful and and to your point um if people are interested in experiencing this firsthand mm-hmm. um if people want to get together as a group and, and let me know i'd be happy to to offer this to students mm, or to wonderful. teachers uh you know to to have them experience firsthand what this is all about Oh my god, that'd be so cool. Because I feel like people will probably hear this and be like, oh my god, I want to try that. Or oh my god, I want to be in the room with that. Because like, I feel like it'll be different like hearing it in the room with it, it in general versus hearing it on YouTube, which isn't yep. like a bad thing. It's just like... But yeah, definitely you'll being in the immersed. room was just... Because I listened to a short clip um, earlier mm-hmm. today, actually, before um, I got here just so I can, you know, figure out what exactly I was you know, getting into. <laughs> right, yeah. And then, you know, but then sitting in the room, I was like, wow, this is like so much different than I had anticipated it to be and I in a good way I love sure, it yeah. right definitely but um so you know people who want to check this out definitely you know contact uh AV club and we'll see what we can do that yeah, sounds lovely. yeah let us know we'll set something up it'll be cool yeah so cool oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> okay and so then, yeah that's AV club um signing out uh thank you so much for listening and if you have any questions uh definitely feel free to um email Miss Buhanda or me my name is Jessica Almeida uh, that was Jackie White. Thank you so much, Miss Cripps. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Signing out. Awesome. Yeah. Sign- oh, good. Have a good day, guys. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>